Hello everyone, I am Akhilesh Kumar Shivastav. In today's lecture, we will learn about how to find the middle element in the linked list. So finding the middle element may be a very straightforward process wherein you can count the number of the nodes in the linked list. And then in the next uh, run, you traverse up to the half of the count and you will be able to find the middle element in the linked list. But this is a very inefficient process wherein you have to do the two traverses. In case you have to go for only one traversal and uh, you need to find the middle element in one go only, here is a process. Suppose you have a linked list of pain. One, two, three, four, five and six. Let's take another one. Let's say that is seven. So for finding all the middle element in such linked list, we may think of a, a strategy wherein there is a turtle and a rabbit and the turtle moves very slow and the rabbit moves fast. So let's take a turtle at the first node in the linked list and a rabbit at the second node in the linked list. When turtle moves one step, a rabbit takes two steps. So for rabbit moves from node number two to node number four. In the next go, the turtle goes to node number three in one step and the rabbit moves fast. So it will go to node number six. And then a turtle moves to node number four and the rabbit goes one step to reach this and another step when it takes the rabbit pointer becomes null. Since this is the linked list and the linear linked list, so the next field of the last node will be null. So in one go, the rabbit goes from six to seven. In the next go, rabbit goes from R to R equals to null. So in this way, the rabbit becomes null and wherever the turtle has reached will be the middle element of the linked list. Let's take another example to understand this. Let's say the linked list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm not making the boxes. I hope this is very easy to understand for you that these are the nodes wherein there are two fields. One of the fields is containing the information. Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the other field is containing the address of the next node. This is the start point. This is the start node and it contains the address of the first node and the turtle is keeping the address of the first node and the rabbit is keeping the address of the second node. This is our initialization. When turtle moves one step ahead, rabbit moves two steps. When turtle moves one step, rabbit moves two step ahead. Turtle moves one step from three to four and rabbit moves two steps from six to eight. When turtle moves to one step it, and it goes from four to five, rabbit moves from eight to nine and then nine to next node. And the next field of the last node is null. So the R becomes null. And wherever the T must have reached, this is the middle element. Let's take another example wherein we have even number of the nodes, not the odd number of the nodes. In both the examples above, we had the odd number of the nodes. So this is, let's say, another example. Let's take turtle at the first node and the rabbit at the second node. When turtle moves one step, rabbit moves two steps. When turtle moves one step, rabbit moves two steps and it reaches to the last node. Once it has reached to the last node, this element will be the middle element. It means wherever the turtle must have reached, this will be the last node in the, this will be the middle element in the linked list. So if the R has reached to the last node or R has become null, in both the cases, wherever the turtle must have reached, that will be the middle element of the linked list. So let me write a small algorithm for the same. Let's say that the algorithm name is 
middle element. In this algorithm, let's say address of the first node is given to us as start. The turtle points to the first node and rabbit points to the second node. This is our initialization. Now I will do my process by the time R is not null or R has reached to the second last node. So if R has R is not null and R dot next is not null. In both the cases, I will move to the nodes ahead of the current ones. So the rabbit, uh, the turtle takes one step and rabbit takes two steps. So r equals to r dot next and r equals to r dot next. So you can move to two steps with the increment of two pointers. So that's why I did it twice. So when this loop finishes, Wherever the turtle will be, that will be our middle element. So I'm returning T, which is the middle element of the long list. Now, this is a very simple code. Let me try to uh, code this at the code blocks as well. So these are the simple. Let me declare the structure of the node. And then the next field. So these are the two things that the node contains. After this, I'm making a get node function. The get node function will be creating a node and will be returning, returning that node for us. So for making use of this node, I must have the struct node pointer, which takes the address of the newly created node. From the earlier lectures, you might have seen that how to create a node. I'm just making use of that. So malloc is a function that will dynamically create the memory for that node. And I need the memory exactly equal to what the node will be taking. So a return P statement says that we have created a node, we have created the memory for the node, and then I'm returning the address of that. So having done this, let me write the middle element procedure wherein the address of the first node will be given. Let's say S is the address of the first node in the linked list. From our side, we need the two pointers, one is the turtle and another one will be the rabbit. So turtle and the rabbits, let me do the initialization for these two. So turtle will be initialized to the first node and rabbit will be initialized to the second node. After this, while the rabbit is not equal to null and r dot next is also not equal to null. I will be moving ahead. So t goes to the next node. It takes only one step, but r moves for two nodes. So once this loop will finish, I will be returning the t, which is the middle element of the linked list. So since I'm returning the address, so the address of the return type of uh, this middle element function will be struct node star. After this, let me design the main function. In the main function, let me declare the address of uh, 
the first node as a start. Initially, it will be null because this, there will be no nodes in the beginning. I'm doing the very simple process wherein I'm calling an insert, uh, insert beginning function. And with the insert beginning function, I'll be inserting some nodes. Let's say I'm creating a list containing seven nodes. And the last node is seven. Will be seven nodes, so the information of them will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, since I'm inserting in the beginning, so the last node will be inserted at the first, and the first node will be inserted at the end. After this, I'm calling a function middle element, and in the middle element, I'm passing the address of the first node. Let's say m is the uh, variable that will take the address which is returned by the, middle, uh, by the middle element function. And finally, I'll be printing the add the value of this node or the information of this node just to make sure that the middle element has come correct or not. So the middle element is equal to percentile D that will be the information of this node. I will have to design another function also, that is the insert beginning function. In the insert beginning function, the address of the first node has been passed and an information to be inserted that has also been passed. To create a node, I need a, a node pointer. So let's say I'm calling the get node function, which will provide us with a node containing the information passed in this function. After this, this uh, next field of this node will point to the first node and the address of the first node will change to the newly created node. So this is the insert beginning function. Since this function does not return anything, so I'm making the return type of this node as void. Let's write the traverse function also, just to make sure that uh, my initial leg list is correct or not. So we will we'll be using the address of the first node here. A P pointer is to take the address of the first node temporarily. And while P is not null, I will be printing the information of the nodes. and making P to point to the next node. So this way we'll be displaying the information of each of the nodes. Since this function does not return anything, so return type of this function will be void. Having created a linked list, I will have to traverse this to test if my uh, linked list hence created is correct or not. So I think all the functions are written. We can test this function now. Okay, so M was not declared, so I will have to declare this M. M dot info. So there is a very basic mistake here that uh, I will have to set the information of uh, the node as x here. I think uh, it should work fine now. So let me test this function. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are, is the content of the linked list and the middle element is four as expected. 
this was uh, the linked list which was containing the even number of odd number of the nodes you can test this with test the same linked list with the odd number of the nodes let's say the last node here in the linked list is 8 and uh, let's print the middle element in the new line So you can see that there are eight elements in the linked list and the middle element is four. So thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next lecture, we'll learn about uh, how to make use of the rabbit and the turtle pointers for some other application problems related to the linked list. Thank you.